San Francisco Bay is a fascinating place to sail. I've been out here on the water since I was four years old and I find I just enjoy it more each time I go out. We can sail here year round and we almost always have wind. San Francisco Bay doesn't really have swells or seas. What we have is a little bit of chop that goes with the winds. So it's like sailing in strong wind, flat water. There are actually three bays in San Francisco. Most people are familiar with the Central Bay, which has the San Francisco backdrop and the Golden Gate Bridge, of course. But that is actually the smallest of the three. There is a bay in the north called San Pablo Bay and a South Bay, which is the largest expanse of water. Looking for peace and quiet and the calm of nature's beauty, Sailing Quarterly headed south to explore the offshore islands in the Sea of Cortez. Bounded by mainland Mexico and the mountainous Baja Peninsula, the islands offer a retreat from civilization in a harsh yet beautiful land. Charter boats are available in the towns of Loreto or La Paz, so we started our adventure in beautiful La Paz. For a change of pace, we decided to sample a crude yacht charter. Our hosts were Joe and Renata Callen of Paradise Charters. Last night, of course, it was blowing about 15, 16 knots, but it, during the day, it normally uh, clears off like this. Our boat, Indulgence, was a very comfortable Beneteau First 43 with twin aft cabins for four to six charter guests. Our first day took us up along the coast of Isla Partida. We checked out the small village and well-protected cove that separates Partida from Espiritu Santo. 22 miles off the coast of Santa Barbara, California, a sailor can cruise hundreds of years into the past to the pristine, mostly undeveloped world of the Channel Islands. Miles of unspoiled shoreline, rugged hills, teeming wildlife, and jagged volcanic cliffs festoon this island world accessible only by boat. Only 100 miles from the hectic world of Los Angeles, the Channel Islands National Park rises from the Pacific Ocean Sailing Quarterly recently traveled to Santa Cruz Island, the largest and most varied of these islands, measuring 21 miles by 5 miles, with a coastline ranging from jagged cliffs to sandy beaches and gigantic sea caves. We joined John and Randy Sanger aboard their Valiant 40 Grebe. We headed out under a double reef main and a staysail. Anyone cruising to these islands should know a rule of thumb. Whatever breeze you have at the coast, it's likely to be twice as strong out by these gusty islands. Our course will take us out of San Diego Harbor, but we'll pass the Coronado Islands. After we enter Mexico, then we'll head south along the coast to Ensenada. We just crossed into Mexico. This is the south island of Coronado Islands. Nobody lives here. There's a remnants of an old hotel on it. There's a lot of reasons people sail in flotillas. Uh, the charter company ends up handling all customs and clearance and paperwork, gets them in and out of Mexico. We also know the harbor. We know the islands. We know the coves where we can go anchor. Keeping about five or six times scope and back into the cove, here we'll hike up into the hills and it's a real easy place to take one of the best pictures of your life because it's so picturesque up there. Going back here today, back towards San Diego, we've gotten very lucky again. The northwest wi wind has switched around and gone southwest on us, so we're reaching again back into the harbor. So this has been a wonderful trip, allowing us uh, easy sail both ways. 